For me, the most important thing is to make it easy for users or researchers. Hallo und herzlich willkommen auf dem ZB Med News Kanal. Mein Name ist Ulrike Ostrinski und ich bin bei uns für die Pressearbeit zuständig. Für diesen Kanal führe ich kurze Interviews zu aktuellen Themen von ZB Med. Zu Gast ist heute Justine van den Dorpe. Sie ist eine unserer Data Stewards im Bereich Data Science and Services und sie arbeitet im Konsortium NFDI von Microbiota. Kürzlich ist ein Artikel von ihr erschienen und darüber sprechen wir gleich. Justine ist eine unserer internationalen Kolleginnen, daher führen wir das Gespräch auf Englisch. Hi Justine, I'm very happy to have you here for a short interview about your latest publication. It's called 10 Simple Rules for Implementing Electronic Lab Notebooks, ELMs. First of all, can you briefly explain what an ELM is or what is special about it? So an electronic lab notebook or ELM, as you said, is a software for documenting experiments, resulting research data and processes. There are many special features of an ELN compared to a physical lab notebook, but the most common feedback from researchers is that it can be searched, it can be easily shared with collaborators, and also data cannot be easily lost. Your publication is a so-called listicle. It contains 10 simple rules for implementing an ELN. We can't talk about all of them, and of course, you should read the complete article. I link it in the show notes. But Justine, in your opinion, what is the most important rule or the one thing that must definitely be taken into account in the implementation of an ELN? For me, the most important thing is to make it easy for users or researchers to get on board. That means having a good onboarding process, of course, but that also means uh, having ongoing support and training and keeping communication channels open. Finally, let's talk briefly about how the article was created. So when NFDI for Microbiota started, we did a survey to see if and how ELNs were being used by microbiologists. And we found out that they were not very popular yet. And we really wanted to encourage the use of ELNs as we believe that they make an important contribution to efficiency, good data management, to the fair data principles, and also to good research practice. Justine, thank you very much for giving us a little insight into your publication. And now I'm sure you're really curious and go straight to the article. Thank you for tuning in and see you soon. Bye.